are on the ground. However, yeah. Don't get me in video. You know the rules. <laughs> Two, one. What we've done today is we've been uh, doing rockets with the kids. They've been uh, making rockets, we've been launching them, they've been learning about how rocket fuels work, we've been blowing stuff up and setting fire to things. So, you know, they've gone away with a proper understanding about rocket engineering and science. The, the kids have been fantastic, they paid a lot of attention, they built some really nice rockets, the rockets flew well and we got most of them back safely under a parachute so I'm dead pleased with what they've done. Well, they've learned about science, they've, they've put science into context, we're not just teaching about abstract things, they're actually learning skills and applying them and I think maybe one or two of them uh, might have moved a little bit closer towards wanting to be a, an engineer or a scientist when they leave school. We need more of those, we need more scientists and engineers. We've got too many people working in supermarkets and banks and things. Right, so let's see your rocket. Who have you got on there then? Nigel Farage. Nigel Farage. <laughs> Come on, let's see what this one does. Yep. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> We got North Korea. North Korea? Why way. North Korea then? Because uh, they're supreme leaders. Uh, they're a good place. We got a little King Jong in here. Oh, yeah. The one true. <laughs> true. I think that rocket's going to do the business. Yeah. Oi, Harry! Harry! Alright. There you go. Oh no! I'm hi, I'm Andrew Crew. I'm a higher apprentice at Hepco Motion. I'm in my third year, so I'll be finishing soon. Hi, I'm Danny. Um, I'm a first year apprentice at HEPCO. I'm doing the advanced course. Uh, we came down here today to sort of uh, help uh, the kids build the rockets they were doing for Rocket Day today and sort of show a bit of support to the local area and the school um, and also encourage them a little bit about sort of apprenticeships and getting involved with the local sort of engineering community. And what sort of things can they learn from apprenticeships and that you've been passing on today? Um, so we've been showing them how the skills they learn today, doing the science, uh, STEM skills basically, uh, maths and science, how that can get you into a career in engineering. Uh, quite a good point was saying how you're preparing for jobs that don't even exist yet. So by going through the apprenticeship route, you're obviously being put in a job um, and that's preparing you for future jobs all at the same time, but le earning while you learn basically as well. It's a big part of that. Okay, launching at three, two, one, fail. Launching in three, two, one, go. Oh, 
You're the last team. Yeah. Nice job. Where are you going? So we're 20.7 on the top. Yeah, it was actually a bit of a high state has to take the highest good. It's only an elevation. Yeah. Huh? It's kind of like four. Ready, three, two, one. Your parachute didn't work, the parachute didn't work. Oh, I've got all the parachute, anyone's actually working. Without instructions. 